DJ Neptizzle on Represent 107.3 FM. I'm just coming out of the mix. And I said I've got a very special guest in the studio. Um, to me, he's a legend. To me, um, without him, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make people start crying and stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Get, get a bit teary-eyed and stuff. But this guy in the studio right now is one of the reasons why I am standing here today. Because his music is it touched me. Like me not understanding Ghanaian music and stuff like that, you know, the tree, the, the language. This guy here made me enjoy Ghanaian music. He goes by the name of Apiatus. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, mate. He's good, mate. He's good. <laughs> he's, he's caught on the lingo. What brings you to uh, the UK, to London? Well, lots of stuff here to fuse, isn't it? Um, Afro beats with the house music, work with artists here, put them on my compilation, upcoming compilation. Yeah. So you got another compilation coming up. Yeah. It's going to be a big one. What's it going to be called? Big Bang. The Big Bang. And w- when is that one going to drop, man? Um, 2014. 2014. Any any uh, UK acts going to be on that one? Yeah. I'm working on that. Can you drop the names? You're going to drop some names for us? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Sarkodie is already on it. Um, the Azonto Fiesta. Um, you have Five Five on it. The list is endless. The list Keep is saying. endless. So do you know what? Do you know what? I've never really heard you do an interview before. Really? Yeah, I've never heard you do an interview before. And it's it's kinda of hard to get a lot of sort of like a peer twist related stuff online and you know, to do like research and stuff like that. Um so I'm we're just gonna go in. we like how did it start for you as a producer? When did it start? What age? Well, I was young. I mean, I used to play the piano in church. That's how I started music. The church, wise. man. A lot of people start in church. That's 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 where a lot. That's of, a place to be, isn't it? That's a place to be. Man. Yeah, and um, where well, I graduated from there, um, I, I went to Freddie Man Studios to case frequency into campsite and sequencing music. I mean, producing music. So that's how I started. It that's started, how it started, man. Yeah. So who who was sort of like your inspirations coming up? Um, well, I always say God started. is my inspiration. The guy is the best sound engineer. He engineered everybody's voice and all the sounds the animals make. Uh, he's my role model. So <laughs> what is your role in the studio? Because uh, really and yeah, we, I make beats. We know you as a producer, you're making beats, but you also sort of um, I mean, record and, uh, and mix and yeah, everything as well. Yeah, I'm sound engineer as well. Also, do you yeah. write songs also? Not really, but I have my own language. I speak. <laughs> <laughs> that speak. I should have brought that one up. I should have. Bought, that was a big one. What tune was that on? Uh, Zonto Fiesta, right? And uh, and Muje by Muje by the yeah. one I'm playing right now. Yeah. Is yeah, because people are asking me, Neptizzle. Okay. Is do you understand that language? <laughs> is it from Vietnam? Is it from China? Is he speaking Chinese or something like that? Oh man, like that's yeah. crazy. But yeah, we have uh, Apiatos in the studio. I'm gonna open up. The Twitter at DJ Neptizzle at Represent Radio. Any questions you want to ask this man right here? The, the, the floor is open, man. Just send in your tweets, send in your questions. I'm gonna play one. Um, hold, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro. But you know, this is management. Oh, and now, management. When, when you're talking, Apiatus, you gotta say the full name. Apiatus. Apiatus. What's, 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 what's his full name? What's your full name, Apiatus? No, 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 no. You're supposed to know it. You Neptizzle. Apiatus. <laughs> uh, Dankwa. No. Eh. No. Hey! Is, is, is that my right? It's Apiatus in the mix. In, oh, Apiatus in the mix. That's the trade, but we're, we're going to go into that, man. We're going to go into that. Honestly, Apiatus in the mix. You, you have to put your name on everything. You have to. You never know who might just take your stuff. I'm going to play one from um, Wuta, produced by Apiatus, a track um, that just shuts down the whole parties, man. When I'm in trouble, no one's dancing at the whole parties. You play this one and people go crazy. So this is DJ Neptizzle with the Ultimate Afrobeat Show. We're taking it to the whole parties, man. We really are taking it to the whole parties. So if you just tune in, you don't know what's going on. Myself, DJ Neptizzle, we're on Represent. And I've got a special guest in the building. Legendary Ghanaian producer has made the biggest hits coming out of Ghana for the past two decades, I could say. Two decades. And uh, yeah, man, we've got him in the studio, finally sitting down. I remember we met, you probably don't remember probably about five years ago yeah. i went to uh the uh 
studio you had in Forest Gate. Yeah. And I didn't even know what you looked like. You had um, <laughs> Kojo entry in, in, yeah. the, in the studio as well. You guys were just cooking up something, recording something. That was, that was like, you know, that was a long time ago. That's when like, I knew only about 10 songs. I knew only about 10 songs. And the, like the next song I'm going to play is one of those 10 songs that really sort of got me in to uh, Ghanaian music and then eventually into African music. And it's a song where um, I have no idea what Kwabana Kwabana is saying. Absolutely no idea what he's saying. Not, not even a word. Yeah. But you can feel it. And that's, that's what I liked about sort of like hip, hip life, the old sort of like high life. And uh, tell me about when you made this in the studio. What, what year was this? Well, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. I think Kwamra Kwamra was first hit. Kwamra first time he was brought to the studio. Yeah. And I made that for him. So who sort of like um, approached to? Was it you that, that um, came to him? Uh, Kuntini brought Kwamra Kwamra. Yeah. Yeah, he brought Kwamra Kwamra to the studio. He brought yeah. Kwabana Kwabana into yeah. the studio. And then it sort of just kicked off then. Yeah. So how, how many tunes did you record? Well, I did um, a couple of stuff. I think he did like four songs back then. Yeah, but that this, was his first one. So um, was was the other song sort of like released as well? Or was, yeah, was, was, was Aso the biggest? Uh, Aso was the biggest. Aso is the biggest yeah. of the lot, and you can't even remember what year this was. That's <laughs> it's a long that's, time that's how long it is ago. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna play that tune right now. But I'm like later on, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you because you've worked with so many people in the Ghanaian yeah. music scene. I'm gonna I'm just gonna throw questions at you, okay? And you're just gonna have to tell me. You're just going to name names. Okay. It's that quick. So I'm going to save that one for a bit later. Remember sending your questions at my Twitter, at DJ Neptizzle. Any questions you want to ask, appear to us. We're going to get it up right now. This one is one of my favorite tunes of all time. Kwabana Kwabana with a tune called Aso. <laughs> You ready for the questions? You can't answer them. You can't swerve the questions. You can't answer them. So, management only responsible about the money. <laughs> <laughs> you responsible about the questions. <laughs> what kind of questions? What kind of questions? Oh, no, 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 no,